On the coastline of the economic growth of China and even the globe sailed the large ships carrying tens of thousands of containers. But beneath all that cargo movement lie oceans of work. From the design to the construction of the massive ships. Around 24,000 workers at this shipbuilding giant on Shanghai's Changxing Island are contributing to just that. Despite a new wave of outbreaks, the Jiangnan shipyard owned by China State Shipbuilding Corporation has managed to pick up its production and so far is right on schedule. Segments of one ship were set to deliver to the next production line in mid-June, but we worked hard to speed up our production because of the outbreak and managed to deliver them this week. Our company confirmed the whole year's production plan at the end of May and at the beginning of June. We make planes by the week, month and quarter. And so far we are on schedule. The shipbuilder is now also facing tech innovation as global green and low carbon pursuits aim to boost the ton per mile index for new energy shipping in the 2020s. To realize that, this design institute had some 70% of its staff living in the plant for almost three months. Shipping firms now prefer clean energy and have higher requirements for smart vessels. They have more requirements for the integration level of systems and also for the comprehensive network connecting the ship and the dock. And they now want shorter delivery time. And now that the workers and the designers are all back at work, it's a lot easier for them to coordinate their work and their plans. China's shipbuilding sector is on a fast track to recovery. According to the China Association of the National Shipbuilding Industry, the COVID resurgence brought some challenges. The first five months saw completion volume of ships dropping 15 percent from a year ago. But as shipbuilders in Shanghai and Jiangsu speeding up their work resumption, the figure for May picked up quickly, rising 22 percent from April. In mid-May, the Jiangnan shipyard delivered the first ship completed in Shanghai since the city's lockdown. And it also happens to be the world's biggest and newest very large ethan carrier. Last week saw the launch of China's third aircraft carrier, the CNS Fujian, which was towed out of its dry dock at the shipyard. And earlier this week, the world's largest container ship was delivered by Shanghai's Hudong Zhonghua Shipbuilding Group. The unprecedented demand for container ships may not end anytime soon. During the first half of this year, Jiangnan Shipyard received 28.2 billion yuan worth of orders, up 85% from the same period last year. As far as container ships go, shipping firms are making high profits, and the current shipping demand is still immense. So we still expect more orders to come from the world's top 10 shipping companies. China's product competitiveness has improved. In the past, China had great advantages over South Korea and Japan for standard ship models, cargo ships and cruise liners. But now our technology has progressed and designs have reached the world's advanced level for large container ships and gas carriers. The China Association of the National Shipbuilding Industry reports the country is now leading in a global share of orders. With 52.5 percent of new world orders received in the first five months of the year. A good indication that the country's shipbuilding industry is now sailing into a promising future. Zhang Shuxuan Money Talks.